Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Are you all ready to learn about the 2019 Integra Anthem? Well, I'm super excited to tell you about the enhancements they've added in 2019 and just give you a thorough walk around of this coach. First of all, I want to point out the beautiful paint. Integra only uses the best paint. They use Sickens and three coats of clear on the Anthem. This is the Tango exterior color, which I think is just really beautiful. Also, Integra makes the point coming and going. So I love how they backlight the Integra name and they do this on the front and the back of the coach. Also they have these beautiful accent lights or C lights and we like to refer to them as the show off lights. So we have them here at our headlights and up, up by our clearance lights as well they've added the C lights there. The Anthem comes with the chrome exterior uh, mirrors. They are internally controlled and heated. We also have our marker lights, our camera, so when we turn on our blinker, we can see down the full length of the side of the coach. And we have our first of three blind, blind spot monitoring sensors. The Anthem comes with 315 Michelin tires on the front and 295 Michelin tires on the back. We have our 150 gallon fuel tank. This is dual fill, so we can fill it from the passenger side and the driver's side. In our first storage compartment, we have our optional exterior freezer. So, you can pull that out. Now you can make this a refrigerator or freezer, so if you're tailgating with friends and just wanna keep drinks in here, that's great. You set the temperature so you decide if it's a refrigerator or freezer. We also have the remote control for the Girard awnings in this compartment. Here we have our pass-through tray. So we simply come over here and we can extend that tray this far. We have our folding chairs in here as well and our little uh, wand so that we can pull down our window awnings. Thread it through, pull it down and it connects right, right there, nice and easy. The benefit of this being manual and hooking it up to this three-point stance, so one, two, three, is that if we get strong winds or wind gusts, this isn't going anywhere. All right, I wanna get ready to enjoy the outdoors, so I wanna put my awnings out. So I'm gonna use my remote control here so I'm just gonna go to the double zeros and hit out, and both my awnings will come out at the same time. If I wanted to just do the front awning, I'd just go to 01. If I wanted to just do the back awning, I'd go to 02. All right, now I've got my awnings out, the LED lights are on. I went ahead and turned them on manually, but I can also do this from the Nebula app on my phone. Now I'm ready for a little relaxing time, watch my favorite shows. So I'm gonna pull out my 40 inch Samsung TV. I've got my Bose sound system. And this is all, it will tilt and go side to side. So you can direct it wherever it, you get the best picture. We also have our exterior satellite hookup here. So if I'm over a bunch of trees and can't get a good signal, I can uh, plug in a portable satellite right here. And I've got four 110 outlets. Here's another huge storage compartment. Look how big this is, folks. So I just measured it. You have 25 inches uh, of height. And then once you get to the chassis rail, you have 20 inches of height. So huge compartment. I'm sure I'll find a way to fill it, but you've got a lot of space to work with. I wanted to point out the X bracing in the chassis. Integra adds this to their chassis to add strength and rigidity. This way the suspension takes the abuse of their road and not your house. This is one of at least 10 X bracing members that run vertically and horizontally throughout the chassis. 
Here we have more storage, but even more important, if you are not one of our storage customers, when you go to store your coach, you need to make sure that you cut off all power to your coach. So we've got the power control shutoffs for our inverters, and then we have more circuit shutoff points inside a panel. I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, we also have the Dirt Devil hookup here, so we can hook up our vacuum right there, vacuum our whole storage area. We can also bring our tow vehicle up here and vacuum that as well. We have 110 outlets here, and we have the heater to heat the basement. All right, I mentioned earlier that we've got our inverter cutoffs here, but we also have the cutoffs. The rest of our cutoffs are right here. So if we wanna cut off power, complete power to our generator, which if you're not storing with national indoor RV centers where you're always hooked up to 50 amp service, you wanna make sure that you cut off all power to these items and your inverters so that you have no parasitic drain on your batteries. So I'm gonna simply push in the red buttons. Yellow button's gonna come out. That's gonna let me know that I've turned that off. To turn it back on, I just simply push the yellow button back in. We also have the manual control for our slide rooms here and the 12 volt control panel. Here we have our, um, or behind the black panel is our 100 gallon fresh water tank. I love that they give you a visual here so you can look and see what level your fresh water tank is at. Of course, you're gonna have your readings on your Vega Touch inside the coach or on your phone, but I like to be able to just open the door and, and visually see that as well. Now here we have our gravity fill. So you're gonna use that if you are um, not where you can hook up to city water and you need to manually fill your, fill your tank, or if you wanna disinfect your tank, or if you're getting ready to winterize your tank. So here we have our marker, marker light, another docking light, our second blind spot monitoring sensor, and then our third blind spot monitoring sensor. Here's your DEF. This is your diesel exhaust fluid or DEF or DEF. You'll hear all those terms. So you can fill this from either side of the coach and it uses about 3%. So if you've gone through 500 gallons of fuel, it's probably time, to, or it is time to refill your DEF. Now you're also gonna have a monitor that lets you know your DEF level on your new digital dash in the Anthem. All right, here we have our chassis batteries and we have the power control center for the back half of the coach. So you can see all these fuses here are fuses for the back of the coach. If you're, one of your lights goes out, the fuse is right here. Then we have our battery disconnects. We have our air dryer. This has a filter in it and it needs to be serviced once a year. Now Spartan's really smart and they put this muffler on it, so you're not gonna be startled by that sudden burst of air. We also have our fuel filter here and that needs to be serviced as well. And then we're lucky enough to have the engine door cover, so all we have to do is hit this button here and voila, engine door goes up. The Anthem sits on the Spartan K2 chassis it has the ISL Cummins 450 horsepower engine with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque and the Allison 3000 transmission. Here we have our engine oil fill, and this is where we check our engine oil. We have our coolant here, our hydraulic oil here, our engine block heater. So on a cold winter morning, you want to warm up your engine compartment here. You're gonna just plug that in. If you're needing to use that, you probably need to go further south. Here we have our air minder, our air filter. Make sure that we change your air filter once a year. And here is where you put in your transmission fluid. The Anthem's engine compartment is insulated, so it keeps the heat in the engine compartment and not in your master bathroom. All right, the Anthem has a two inch hitch, and this is a 15,000 um, pound hitch. So you can tow 15,000 pounds. That means that you can uh, use a, a trailer and tow one of our Jeeps that you can buy from National Indoor RV Centers. We're all ready with the safe haul on the Spartan chassis. So if you're using an integrated um, air actuated 
braking system, you can hook right into that airline here. And then here's your seven way plug for your lights if you're using a trailer. Also for 2019, they've raised, uh, they've made a little cutout here and raised the exhaust pipe. I mentioned that Integra makes a statement coming and going. So I love how they backlight the Integra name in red so it stands out. And then we've got our clearance lights above and we have our digital camera there in the back. The Anthem comes with this side radiator. So what happens when you, when you move the radiator over to the side, you have full access to your engine compartment and this is more efficient. So you're gonna bring in ambient air into your radiator and cool your radiator with that air versus the hot air that's coming off the engine. So your fan is gonna to have to not work as hard. It can take up to 30 horsepower to turn the fan. So if it's not working as hard, that means that you have more horsepower going down the road. Integra has these elongated fins. They actually pull the air into the radiator. So that's just a nice feature. Uh, if you want to maintain your coach, one of the maintenance things you can do is just take a good old garden hose with your thumb over the end and you can rinse out the fins of your radiator. This is good. Make sure you don't use a power washer. That's too much pressure. Here we have the galvanized steel door protecting our DEF tank on the driver's side of the coach so you can fill it from here as well, like I said. This is our blind spot monitoring sensor on the driver's side of the coach. First, second blind spot monitoring sensor. Our docking lights, marker lights, and behind our little door here, we have our very important stinky slinky. I love that Integra puts that in a nice compartment so that it's not just floating around in your wet bay. All right, here is our wet bay. What's really nice is we have a light so we can see what we're doing if we're coming to a campground late at night and we're trying to hook everything up, we can illuminate this um, compartment very nicely. So we have our power water reel here. And once we hook that up, we can just push it right through that little um, seal there so we don't have to worry about rodents or anything getting into our coach while we're hooked up. We have our sewer rinse and our fresh water connection, our fill fresh water tank when it's this way and hook up to city fill when it's vertical, the light, our macerator on and off button, and then our manual poles for our gray and black tanks. Right here, once you come for your delivery, we'll install your um, water filter for your all your drinking water in the coach and your refrigerator. It goes down to one micron. Your filter for the rest of the coach goes down to five microns. So this is five times more filtered than the rest of the coach. So that's really good for you. We have a place for our soap and our paper towels. And behind this panel, we have our Thetford SantaCon system and our manual where we can hook up and do a manual dump if we want to do that as well. We have our sea level two monitor system outside the coach and inside the coach. And then of course we've got our hose that we can wash off our feet or our pets or our kids or whatever we need to clean off before we go into our beautiful coach. And we have the tool to change out the water filter here. We have the Thet Third um, RV SantaCon system here. So basically that works like a garbage disposal for your black tank. And then we also have the manual dump site here as well. All right, here we have our 50 amp shore power cord. This is on a, um, a power cord, like I said. So you can automatically pull that in. That's a super nice feature, especially if you've ever wrestled one of these on a cold morning. Uh, we also have the cable connection here, and we have the SureGuard uh, transfer switch, so that's gonna transfer from shore power to generator power. Then we have our 450 diesel aqua hot. Our overflow for our, di for our diesel aqua hot, the fuel filter for our diesel aqua hot, that needs to be changed once a year and our control panel. If I had this turned on, you'd be able to see what it was doing right now. 
Now you have two kinds of heat. You have electric heat and diesel heat. Electric heat, you have about 3,000 watts, and diesel heat, you have, or sorry, 3,000 BTUs, and diesel heat, you have more than 50,000 BTUs. So think about how you're gonna be using the water in your coach. If you're just washing a few dishes, you're probably good with your electric heat. If you're gonna be taking a long, nice, hot shower, then I'd go ahead and make sure you fire up your burner, your diesel burner. There we have our nice big pass-through storage compartment. And we have the filter for our Dirt Devil uh, vacuum here. And Integra has been so nice to give us some extra tiles in case we are ever in need of them. Here we have our pass-through storage with the tray. And again, we have our extra folding chairs here. And one more really nice size storage compartment. Here we have our fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach and our docking lights and our exhaust here, right? This exhaust pipe for our generator. The one there in the middle of the coach is for our, is for our diesel aqua hot. All right, here is our power control center for the front half of the coach. So if you blow a light up front, your fuse is gonna be here. And if something's not working on your captain's chair, fuse is gonna be right here. Here's our 12 volt um, control panel. And then these are power points for our chassis batteries. Now here we have our um, generator slides. So we have to be aired up and we also have to have our ignition switch on for that to extend. And that's just a protection that Integra has built in. So in case you have little kids out here playing in this compartment and they push the button that no one gets hurt. Wow, <laughs> lots of power. <laughs> All right, here is our blind spot monitor for the front of the driver's side. Our camera, which is gonna shoot down the full length of the driver's side of the coach when we put on that left blinker. And our marker light. All right, here we have our 12.5 kilowatts Onan generator. So we are gonna be able to run everything inside the coach and we're not gonna worry about blowing any breakers. If we did blow a breaker, the reset button is right here. Also tells us how many hours are on our generator right here as well. Then we have the fluid for our windshield wipers. And this wire runs from the generator to this port which goes back to our house batteries. We also have the Spartan panel here. So if our Hadley air fails, we can fill the air from these ports right here. And we have our, our electric horn. Down here, I want you to notice that we have the Dash AC air condenser fan. This is significant because there, you only need five feet of hose to run the Freon up to your AC in the Dash. Most other manufacturers have this in the very back of the coach, so they have to run 50 feet of hose to run that Freon up to the dash, so it's going to you know, warm up as it travels 50 feet. You also can see your air horns back here. You're gonna have a hard time seeing it, so you're gonna just have to take my word on that one. All right, we have three ways that we can get into our Anthem. First of all, we have our key fob, and I wanna go through some of the buttons on here. One of the buttons I really like is the fact that we have a panic button. So it's always nice just to have that little extra security in case you feel unsafe as you're going up to your coach. You can go ahead and push the button down and you've got to hold this button. Just hit the unlock button to turn your alarm off. But I think they have that extra length of time that you hold it so that you don't accidentally, you know, wake up the whole campground and turn that on at night. <laughs> Um, now we can also hit the light button. So when I hit the light button, it's gonna turn on my docking lights. So that's nice, just kind of illuminates the path to my coach. Then obviously we can use our key and then we have the keyless entry. So you can set your own unique combination here so that you can let your friends or family members or even service techs in when uh, you're away. All right, let's go inside. All right, as I come into the coach, I want you to notice these buttons right here. We have the main power cutoff button, step power, 
this is for your steps once you're camping you don't want that step going in and out every time the door opens so you're just going to keep it out and then we have our step light we have our master on and off switch here so i can come into the coach i don't have to fumble around in the dark i can just hit the master on and the coach will illuminate or i can turn it all off as i'm leaving here's our day shade master so if i hit that i can just bring all of my day shades down at one time or all the way up and we have one for the night as well we have our awning lights our entry awning cargo slide out lights porch light entry ceiling light security light they come into the anthem i want you to notice the nice handrails that we have here and here so it's great when you're coming in and going out now we've got some really nice storage right when we walk in the coach our 32 inch hd samsung tv and another nice big storage compartment here here's our power control center so this box shows us this is the breaker box for all the items that work off of shore power or our generator so the power comes to here it goes down into the inverter passes through it comes back into this box here and we have two inverters on the anthem two 3000 watt inverters so we have a lot more circuits and we can run a lot more items here we have our solar panel display so this lets, lets us know what kind of amps are coming in through the solar panels we have our ac overrides so if for some reason your vega touch fails and you can't get it to work you're not going to get hot and sweaty i promise you've got your overrides right here to get your acs on and then here we have our slides extend and retract for all of our four slides this is our over the air antenna so you simply just turn that on and it's searching actually raises up and it's searching and just a second here it's locked on to two broadcasting stations which is pretty good since we're in our building here in atlanta then we have our uh, gen start button so we can start the generator from right here if we need to here in the passenger's captain's chair, I want to first extend the step slide cover here. So I don't want to fall into the stairwell. Button's right here to my right, and that's going to come out and give me a nice secure base. Then I've got three buttons here, and those are for my the passenger shade. So I can bring my day shade down or the one over the door. And the one here over this window. Otherwise, I'd get really hot. You also have two USB ports right here, your illuminated drink holder, and right behind the console, we've got two 110 outlets. All right, now I wanna demonstrate the chair. There's lots of features, so you can move it forward, and backwards, and then the rear tilt, front. If you're a little bit vertically challenged, you might not wanna have your feet dangling, so you can pull that down or bring it back up. And then of course my favorite, you know, you want to travel in style, so get comfortable and relax. And then you just pull our armrest down. You've got your little hand control there in the front for the armrest. And I'm ready to go. And I want to let you know that there is lumbar support on the Anthem's captain's chairs. All right, welcome to my favorite part of the coach, the interior. Isn't this a gorgeous interior package? This is the champagne interior. Look at the gorgeous porcelain, plank look floor. And then we have beautiful flex steel furniture. This is the 44W floor plan. So we're gonna have a hide a bed here. And then we've got the great theater seating here. So sit down and relax. Actually, I think that this might put me right to sleep. <laughs> but you can see how far that reclines, which is really nice. We've got cup holders here, and then we have storage underneath here. So we've got a sliding tray, but this is a great place for our remotes, anything we just don't want to have sitting out. I've gone ahead and taken the hide a bed out and blown up the air mattress that's in here. So you can see that you can easily get two full-size adults or a couple, grand, couple, maybe three grandkids. I wanted to show you 
that the air mattress is encased in sort of a mattress-like cover. And you simply just take this little pump, screw it into the device, blow it up, and then you can let the air out like that. It's super easy. We also have great storage above here. Nice and deep, no breaks inside there, so you can you know, put all of your items in there as they fit the best way possible. And then we've got the TV here, which is on a televator, so we just hit the down button. The living room TV is a 50-inch Samsung 4K smart TV. And then again, more storage. We have all of our, our wine guard travelers up here and we would this is where also we would put your direct tv satellite um, receiver and our blu-ray players here as well 2019 they totally redesigned the ceiling treatments for the anthem and then we're here in our beautiful kitchen so love that we have this extra counter space that they've given us extends fully and then you still have all look how much drawer space you have and i'll find something to go in every bit of that and a nice little cutting board if you like to use that there as well. We have the beautiful solid surface countertops and stainless steel sink. I love that Integra always gives you a place to put your sink covers. So that helps contribute to the quietest riding, best handling coach in the market today, period. Then I love this compartment too, because I like to have a place to put my trash. Hate to walk in the coach and see the first thing is a big trash can. So this is nicely tucked away underneath the sink. And then another little fun feature that they added, thanks to Pat Bauer, is this little like garbage chute. So if you don't want to pull the whole cabinet out, you can just flip this and put your trash um, into the garbage right through there. Another new item for 2019 is they've given us a cover for our cooktop. So not only do we have tons of space already, now we've got this much more surface to work on if we're not using our cooktop. So that just fits nicely right over the cooktop. And now I've got all this counter space. Another favorite of mine is the little utensil drawer. Everything moves really nice and smooth. Nice deep drawers. Great storage, nice and big. And then I love the trays so that I can get to the very back of my cabinet without a stool, without reaching back there. Then we have our dishwasher. This comes standard in the Anthem as well. Got our nice little uh, utensil tray and then we can get probably 10 plates in there and you can pull these up or push them down if you need a bigger space drop these and put some other of your, you know, bigger utensils or knives in there. Another big storage drawer here and our Infurion induction cooktop. And we have our convection microwave oven. I love that this year the handle you just pull here. So if your big fingerprints drive you crazy, don't have to worry about that. Nice and big. And then this is one of my favorite features on the W. You get the spice cabinet. I love that they use the space so well. So if you're big into cooking, you've got plenty of room here for all of your spices. And onto our dinette. Here we have the uh, table and chairs. This is going to extend. And then we'll have two additional folding chairs. So we can easily get four people here. You have a nice space there that you can um, set beautiful items or if you need to work on your coach this is a great coach for that you've got some nice storage over here so if you need to use a printer that tray just pulls right out very nice the anthem comes with overhead cabinets along the whole driver's side of the coach here so they're a little deeper up there but they're still nice and deep here and again no breaks so we have lots of room then we have the residential Whirlpool refrigerator and it has this nice lock on it. So I don't know if you've ever been going down the road and forgot to check the lock on the refrigerator or you don't have one and pretty soon you've got condiments and eggs and everything 
on your floor. So this is really nice. It's very easy. Just lock and unlock. Nice and big. Oh, and there's freezer lock too. <laughs> Should check that. So freezer lock and refrigerator lock. And then you've got your water and ice in the door here. And we have a nice, really big, deep pantry in the W with adjustable shelves. Another one of Angie's favorite things is the dustpan. So simply sweep all your debris over there and then it just sucks it away. It's like magic. And we have our central vac here. So we can just plug in our 25 foot hose and we can vacuum the whole coach. Okay, I wanna go over the new and improved Vega Touch. Just like every other piece of software that you, you know, computer or whatever, it's constantly being upgraded. Well, so is the Vega Touch. So nice feature is here we've got the display in the time of day, but say you are ready to go to bed and you don't want this display anymore, just hit the blackout button, that's gonna all go away. When you need to get back and work on your Vega Touch, it's gonna go to the main home screen here. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through this panel. First thing it shows us is a fresh tank warning. That's letting us know that our fresh tank is empty. We need to get some water in there, so it's just a warning. Then we're gonna go, and then back to our tanks we have, it will tell us what's in our fresh gray and black. Our interior and exterior lights, so we can turn those all on or all off. We can also do individual settings, so if I want to you know, create my own theater mode and dim all the lights. I could do that and then hold the set one button. And then every time I hit the set one, it would go to that theater, theater mode setting. All right, then we have the same master control here for our day shades and our night shades. And then it's gonna tell, tell us what kind of AC or what kind of power we're pulling. We're hooked up to shore power right now and it will give us our chassis battery level and our DC house level. And our automatic gen start is off right now and our inverter is off right now. If we wanted to turn our generator on, we can do that right here. We also tells us we can turn on our water pump, our engine preheat, and we can use our diesel heat or our electric heat. Then we can go through each button. It's also telling us the temperature across the top of the coach here. We can go to our light setting. So now we can go individual light settings so I just turned off the whole living room area. Turn that back on. Control mode will actually show me each light and I can go to that light and change the brightness or turn it all the way off. And then you can save those settings back on your set one, set two, set three, like I showed you in the beginning. We can do the same thing with our shades. So this is in basic mode. So I can put the day shades all the way up or all the way down or night day or night shades all the way up or down or I can go to control mode where I can operate that shade individually. Exterior lights so you can adjust those manually turn them on and off or we can go to our awnings. Okay you're always going to get that warning just to make sure it's safe to take those out and then you can see where we can extend them retract them all from right here and our slide rooms as well. Here we have the temperature control for the coach. So we have the living room, kitchen, bedroom, and storage bay. So if I wanted to decrease the temperature, I just simply hook it like that or take it back up. And what if I just want to make the whole coach the same? Then I want to go up into the top right, cor the, uh, top right hand corner there, hit that and it will sink all. All right, so we all also can control our max air vents right here. So if I want to turn on the kitchen, max air vent, you can hear it going up. Now, if I want to control the level of the fan, I just hold it. And now I can go high, medium, low. And I can even set a timer on it as well. Or I can set the temperature when, if the coach gets you know, above 80, then I want the max air vent to come on and start to cool the coach a little bit. And I can decide if I want that, uh, the cover to be up or down, all from this screen here. All right, so I love that there, this is so user friendly that I can just, if I don't remember what one of the buttons is for, I hit the question mark. And then since we're on the, I'm gonna go ahead and hit 
Okay, so now it's gonna help me. So it's climate control, it's gonna tell me how to sync the zones, the arrows to go up and down, tap to toggle the floor heat. It's gonna walk me through that whole panel, which is just so nice. I don't have to worry about it. So now we are gonna to go to AV, so I can control my TVs from here, turn them on and off. Still have some of my other controls available to me as well. So on this screen, we have a, we can do the AV, the kitchen, the fans. We also can unlock and lock the entry door or the cargo bays right here. Also, we have a edit home. So if there is a function here that I wanna to add to my home screen, then I would push that button and add that to the home screen. Settings, so here you can adjust your display. You can see what software version that you have. So if you're having some problems, need some help, right here is where you see what version you have. Your sleep settings, you can um, pick which, you know, how long you want this to sleep. Users, images, and pairing. So one of the, another great feature is that you can download the app to your phone and you can pretty much do everything that you can do on your Vega Touch right from your phone. All right, so there's three ways that you can heat this particular floor plan. You have your heat pumps, which are good, um, that are with your AC. They're, they're good until you hit about 40, 40 degrees. Once you hit that, your, your heat pumps can't keep up. So we also have floor heat that comes standard in the Anthem. And we also have our furnace, which works off of our diesel aqua hot. And some of the other floor plans, you have a fireplace as well. So you might have more options. But I know a lot of my customers will sometimes just turn on their floor heat and then use their fans from their heat pumps and circulate the warmth and that's good enough. They don't always have to turn on their furnace. The 44W has a nice size half bath. We have a lot of counter space, solid surface counter, which integrates right into a sink. Then we have another breaker box here. And then this other side is a medicine cabinet. It's nice and deep and very tall. You could get a lot of toiletries and everything in here. We also have nice storage below. And one more cabinet back here. Great place for the toilet paper, you know, in case you need help knowing where that should go. <laughs> and then we have storage up above here as well. We have another fantastic fan and we've got a controller here for our lights, the fan and um, the shade up and down for the day and night shades. Before I show you the master bedroom of the Anthem, I wanted to show you the new doors that they've added for 2019. So the previous years we've had a glass insert here. Now this is a nice solid wood door, um, very heavy, very beautiful. And then when you push this back, they lock right into place. So they're not gonna rattle as you're going down the road. So here we have our king size sleep number bed and we have USB and 110 outlets on both sides of the bed, along with our little nightstand. They've done a great job with the valances. They've tapered them, so you're not gonna knock your arms on those in the middle of the night or when you go to get up. And then they did a beautiful new um, headrest, which I just love. And then you've got the controls for your ceiling fan underneath the bed, along with your light controls, accent lights, um, security lights, your shades, and you can unlock and lock your entry door. So you can do that all while you're just laying in bed. You don't have to sit there and go, hmm, did we lock the door? You can check it right here. And I also wanted to notice the great reading lights that they give you. You can um, direct them, and then you just easily push them in and out to turn them on and off. They've given us really a ton of storage up here. This is super deep. I'd probably have to get on a little stool to get to the back of it. I might need one of those little sliding trays but a lot of space there. Then of course, we've always got the storage that's underneath our bed. Quite a bit of storage there as well. And then over here behind our 32 inch HD Samsung TV, we've got our Blu-ray player, our safe, and more storage and another 110 outlet up there. Nice storage here in our drawers. Another nice cabinet here. So they've really given you a lot of space. Here's the multiplex lighting system. I wanted to show you that if the light has an arrow up and down, then it's dimmable. So if you wanna kind of soften the lighting and you can just press and hold. 
So I'm dimming the main bedroom lights and then I'm gonna dim this vanity light for us here. We also have the master day and night shades. We can turn off just the front part of the coach right here so we can just turn that off. And if I wanna turn off the entire, the lights from all the coach, I can do that on the master. Notice the new return. So you can easily change your filters, just they pop right out. Take the filter out, go wash it off, dry it, put it back on there, and then you just push it right back into place. Super easy. All right, now to the master bathroom. So first of all, we have our washer and dryer right when we walk in and we have the Whirlpool washer and dryer. And then we have this really beautiful shower with porcelain tile. And they brought back the shower seat, which is so nice. So we've got lots of room in here, lots of room overhead, and a place where I can sit down and shave my legs. So gotta love that. <laughs> they also put a little magnet strip right here along the door of your shower. So when you close it, it sort of makes a nice seal. So you're not gonna have water running out over your pretty porcelain tile floor. They've given us two nice cabinets here, but the toilet, lots of space again. We have our fantastic fan for the master bathroom. And then notice the beautiful doors that they've given in the Anthem this year. I just love the pretty detail. And then onto our great um, vanity area, lots of counter space, beautiful sink. And then my favorite feature of all, of course, more storage. Love that they've made the mirrors a medicine cabinet. That just gives you so much space that was needed and we weren't getting to use before. And then one more bonus, we've got the full length, full length of the back end of the coach is a cedar lighting closet. Nice and deep. Again, lots more storage for us. I wanted to show you how much walking space that you have in the 44W with all your slides in. So you can see that I can easily get past the sofas into the kitchen area where I could easily be making dinner, breakfast, whatever, just a snack while we're running down the road. I can get into my refrigerator. My pantry. And most importantly, the bathroom. I'm really excited to show you some of the new features on the 2019. First of all, we have the digital dash, which you're all gonna love. And then we also have the keyless ignition. So that's pretty cool. The key fob does have to be in the proximity of the dash. And just a side note, your rental car keys will not start this. I tried it, <laughs> just by mistake. So put your foot on the brake and then you're gonna see the dial light up here. Push that, you're gonna be in ignition mode and go up to the left hand corner here and you're gonna see the wait to start button. All right, that's gone. Now it's time for me to push the button. Start the coach, easy as that. I wanna tell you about the Hadley air system. So you wanna make sure that you're always at standard ride height when you're ready to leave. Um, so to do that, all you have to do is simply push standard ride button there. You'll see the green light flash. That means that you're at standard ride height. Now, say you're driving along and you need some extra clearance and you need to raise the coach. You can actually raise the coach about three inches. So you just go over and hit the raise button, hold it down, and while it's blinking, it's gonna actually bring the coach up about three inches. Once you've done that, now you always wanna go back to standard ride height. Now say that you're headed into a garage and your clearance is a little tight, so you wanna make sure you're gonna squeak in there below the garage doors. So you wanna lower your coach now. So now you just simply hit the lower button, press and hold. You're gonna hear the air going out of the system and lowering the coach. One thing to remember when you're lowering the coach, you wanna make sure your wheels are straight. You don't wanna turn your wheels if you're lowering the coach, otherwise you're gonna tear out your fiberglass. So now we're at the campground. If you want to use your air leveling system to level the coach, you're gonna to wanna to go and push your SLS button, which is simple terms, searching for a level surface. So I would push that. Oh. 
If you see the green arrows, that means it's most likely you'll be able to level there. If those arrows happen to be orange, it's gonna be a little iffy, and if they're red, you're not gonna be able to level in that location. So once we have those green arrows, we know that we can level, so go ahead and put the set, hit the set button, and it's gonna level the coach. Once we have solid green arrows, then we're set. So now the lights are solid green, we're level, and we wanna now sh lock those valves basically so that we don't have any air leaking. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the engine. So now we've locked the valve, but it's just picture a balloon. So you've tied the knot in the balloon, but over time, if you're in that camping space for a week, that balloon's gonna lose a little air, right? Same thing with your coach. So in 19, there's a new feature. We have an auxiliary air compression system. So that is, it's gonna automatically uh, put air in your, in your tanks to keep that pressure up so that you're not gonna have the leaking. So it'll fill the airbags for you automatically without the engine being on. Some of you might be wondering what that faint beep is that keeps, that's constant through this whole part that I've been showing you. If you look onto our new digital dash, it shows that I'm still connected to the shore cord. This is great that it has that warning. Um, it happened to me once, I have to say it. I can't believe I did it, but it's just one of those things I was out of my routine that I typically did before I left in the coach. And the next thing I knew I had a cord um, following behind me. So it's great to have that extra warning. All right, our next control here is the internal control for our flat mirrors. So we can just adjust those left or right and make whatever adjustments we need to see down the side of our coach. Then we have our battery boost button. So this is where you come back to your coach and your batteries are dead. So you wanna take your house batteries and combine them with your chassis batteries and get enough of a charge that you're able to start your generator. Then we've got a kill switch for our, um, for our main power and it's got a little protection um, on it so if you have a pet that's you know running across your dash here they don't accidentally kill all the batteries so little uh, pay, pet safe switch there then we have our tag dump you just want to always keep that in auto um, the only time you're ever really going to dump is if you need to take a really make a really tight u-turn then we have our pedal switch so that's really nice so that you can adjust those pedals so that your foot's not dangling and that you're comfortable while you're driving then we have our auxiliary engine brake. I love this control. It's got it's it's nice and tall. So while you're driving down the road, if all of a sudden you see that you need to, a little extra help braking, you want to put that engine brake on. You can reach down here and fill it and put it right into the position that you want it in. Very easy to find. Then we've got our controls for our um, shades. So we just hit the shades here, and we can control the passenger shades as well. Now another new feature for 19 is that they've changed the driver's side window. So it's a lot bigger and it doesn't go down in diagonal. Now it's nice and you know square or rectangle here and much easier to get out the window and with a nice screen on it as well. So if you want a little fresh air while you're driving or when you're camping, you got it. All right, these are our headlights here, fog lights. Accent lights, or I like to call them our show-off lights, the docking lights, and our map lights. And when this is in the auto position, it's gonna be just like your car. When you open your front door to the coach, you are going to, the lights are gonna come on automatically, so that's nice. Then we have our equalizer system, which is our, our hydraulic leveling system. So if we're gonna be in a campground for, say, a week at a time, you probably wanna go ahead and put your, um, main jacks down and this is where you do this you can auto level you can go front right rear left or all retract and then we have a nice cup holder here you can see it's illuminated that's nice when you're driving at night and we've got two usb ports right here so that's very handy and we have our speakers for our jbl sound system all right now let's go over this steering column here so first of all i want to adjust it so that it's comfortable for me to drive so I'm just gonna move this lever right here to the left, up or down, and I like it right there. Also have my left and right turn signals and pull it forward for your brights. Then to the steering column itself, we have um, hand controls for the radio and our source here. So I can turn 
this all on or off right here. I can also source through the different options. And I can control the volume and the channel. Now we have our light, our headlight button here. This is just basically when you're driving, if a trucker is going to go ahead and pass you, you want to let him know that it's safe to pass and then go in front of you. You just blink your headlight one time. That gives him the signal. Once he's um, safely in front, he'll usually give you three little blinks of his courtesy lights to say thank you. So you're going to do the same thing. Now, if I'm passing a trucker and he gives me the signal that it's safe for me to go ahead and pull in front of him, I'm going to go ahead and flash my courtesy lights here three times to say thank you. Also, one of the things that I love on this, this is where your cruise control is set from. So I would just go ahead and hit it on and then get to the appropriate speed and set it. Um, another thing that I use this for all the time is I use it to go into a high idle mode. When I'm ready to leave, I'm usually a little impatient and want to get on the road as quickly as I can. So I want to air up faster. So simply turn it on and hit the set button and then I'll go into a high idle mode to air up the coach quicker. We also have the windshield wiper button over here, so I can just simply turn it on and turn it off. There's a high low button, or I can set it to my own uh, intermittent speed that I desire. So say I want to go 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, 4-1000, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. So you can set your own speed. You also have your horn here. So I've got just my electric horn on here. If I want to turn on my air horn, I'll show you that in just a second. I did the dash, but now I'm really going to get someone's attention. Okay, here we have our Allison transmission, 3000 transmission. We've got our reverse, neutral, and drive. And then if you want to know what mode means, that button, there is an economy mode and it does help save on fuel. So you definitely want to push that. That's all you need to do. We're done. All right. I want to share something with you that I think you're really going to like. So if you want to check your transmission oil level while you're driving, you want to let your transmission warm up. So say you've been driving for about an hour, that's probably plenty warm. You can go ahead and press the plus and the minus button together at the same time and it's going to give you a little reading. So it's telling me that my transmission oil level is okay. So I'm good to go. Now it might say a uh, transmission oil level um, low one. That would mean that it's low one quart or if it's low two, it's low two quarts or it could say high one, which means it's a little you know, high one quart. So just a nice way to um, keep an eye on your transmission oil level. Okay, a lot of people ask me what this NN stands for. So basically it's letting you select which gear you go to and the monitor will tell you which gear you're in. So I go ahead and put it in drive. It's gonna go to sixth gear and I'm currently in first. So say I'm in the mountains in Colorado and I don't want to go all the way up to sixth gear. I can select that I only go to fifth gear, still currently in first gear. And to clear that, I just go back to neutral. Okay. Then we have our nice lit cup holders, our AC and heat controls. Right here we have our um, USB port and HDMI. Now this will link directly to your radio and then through your HDMI matrix, we can throw this up on all of your TVs. And we have our 12 volt. And our great little storage compartment right here. All right, I wanna go through these two display panels here. So first of all, we're gonna go back to menu just by hitting that easily, radio. Pull up our radio screen. Then we have our media center, XM. That's important. This is where you'll find your radio ID. So if you're gonna to subscribe to the service, you're gonna need this number here. Then we have our Bluetooth, HDMI. So if you select that and then you hook into your HDMI here, you can put that up on your screens. You have your HD cam, so you can 
put your camera up on both screens here. You can select the view that you're seeing. You can go to Rand McNally. So you've got your maps right there, your setup screen. The setup screen is where you can customize all your audio and video and screen um, choices. Then we can go to our Vega Touch right here. So we can uh, turn the lights on and off, our entry light, interior lights, exterior lights. We can also lock our entry door. If you all see you're going down the road, did I lock my cargo doors? I can't remember. Go ahead and lock them right there. And you can uh, control the temperature of the coach here, house temperature, and you can turn the generator on and you can make sure your auto generator start is on as well. And we have house mode. So house mode, we're gonna turn off our front speakers and we're gonna throw all the sound to our back, to our Bose system. And you may be wondering why you'd wanna do that. Well, you can put your Sirius XM through that and you only have to buy one subscription so you can have all that music playing throughout the house. All right, once you get to the Anthem level, we have a digital camera. So I wanna show you some of the really cool features on this camera. So we have all these different views that we can see and we have the different hitch views as well. So I'll scroll through those, come back to our main screen here. Then you can see down the left side of the coach, right side of the coach. This is the intersection view. So you can see ahead of you left and right. And then you'll really love this one. So right here, you're gonna get three screens up here. You can see underneath your slides on the left and the right and in the rear. So if it's nighttime or during the day you hear someone rustling outside, um, worried that someone's getting into your storage base, you can use this for security. Okay, now to what you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna go through the 2019 all new digital dash for the Anthem. So this is your main screen. We're gonna show, I'm just gonna walk you through it. So it's gonna show engine temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, and our fuel levels. These are all green. Green is good, That's we like that. This is gonna show that I've got cruise control on right here. So I can cancel that and it goes away. We also have our miles per hour. We're not moving, so that's good. And then our RPM. So if I wanted to air up quickly, I can put this into the high idle mode by turning on my cruise control and hitting the set button. I'm in high idle and you can see my R RPMs going up. Now you see this N in a circle. We are in neutral. So if I go ahead and put this in drive, that's gonna to change to a D or reverse. Here we have our air tank levels, which are green as well, our battery level, and this is our DEF level. level. So everything is green, that's all good. Now it's gonna show what source we're at on our screen over there, we're on the radio. We're heading north, it's 82 degrees outside and it's 12.56 p.m. Going this way, where this EC is, earlier I showed you um, that we were plugged into the shore cord. So any warnings are gonna come up on this screen right here. Then we have our odometer and our trip information. So right now we have 822 miles on the coach from trip one, and this would tell us how many miles we have left to go on our fuel tank, but it's not reading it because we've been sitting here a little bit too long and we're getting about seven miles per gallon. So if I wanna go ahead and switch out my trip information, I'm gonna turn my dial and I'm gonna press it once to go to trip two. Now I'm gonna press to switch and hold to reset. So I'm gonna hold the center dial button in and I've reset that to zero. So now when I go back, we're ready to see how far, how many miles we're gonna go on trip two. We're just gonna go across the top of the panel here. First of all, the P obviously means that we are in park. And then we have our green lights, which means that my lights are on. If I go ahead and turn those off, that's gonna go away. The yellow indicator is your blind spot monitoring 
uh, indicator saying that you've got something in your blind spot on the right hand side of the coach. If I had something on my blind spot on the left side, I would have an indicator over here on the left hand side, the top of the panel. Okay, now I want to show you a little bit about the tire pressure monitoring system. So you're seeing some of the tires, not all of them are showing up right now. That's because we're not moving. The little indicator inside these tires has actually gone to sleep to kind of protect the battery. So once we get rolling, uh, we will get a tire pressure indicator from all of these tires. So you're seeing the PSI for the tires. And then if you want to see Fahrenheit, I just press the button and we get the Fahrenheit reading. This is just like your gauge gauges. So green means good. You're good to go. If they're yellow, that means caution. If they're going red, then you better stop. Something's, something's wrong. All right, we're gonna go to the next screen here. I'm gonna select this screen. Now, if I want to just scroll through it, I can see all the information that it's gonna give me. All right, now I'm at a scan. This is just like your radio, works the same way where you can scan through the channels. This will, if I choose this, it will scan through all that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And now it's just gonna automatically scan through all that information for me. If I wanna just have one thing, if I just wanna see my engine torque all the time, I can select that and just have that remain on the screen as well. So messages, this is pretty self-explanatory, just like the short cord, it would tell me here that I was plugged in, anything that I needed to know that's important, it will show up here. Brightness, this is where I can determine the brightness of my screen and my transmission. So I'm just gonna select that, and then I'm gonna turn the knob, and as I turn the knob, you'll see the brightness decrease. Once I get it to the level where I want it, I want it nice and bright. We'll do 90%. I'm gonna go ahead and push the tab in. Well, actually, we'll just go up to 100. I'm gonna push the tab in, and that's set. Okay, settings has another sub menu. So I'm gonna select this, and we'll kind of go through some of those other sub menu items. I'm gonna scroll up to the very top here and go to TPMS, our tire pressure monitoring system, and I'm gonna select that. And now we've got a lot of information about all of our tires. So it's gonna show their location, front left, front right, et cetera, our pressure and our temperature. It's asking me, do we have a towable connected? No, I'm gonna change that to yes. And now I've got a tow vehicle with two wheels. So I'm towing a trailer of some sort here. Now let's change the tow type to four wheels, so trailer with four wheels, or I can go to six wheels, or I can go to a vehicle. At National Indoor RV Centers, we have all the equipment and the software to add the sensors to your tow vehicles. This is a feature you're gonna love. So we're in nav zoom. Now to make this work, we've gotta have our foot on the brake, and we've gotta have our, our park brake released. Now, like I told you before, this is the area that you're gonna have warnings. So the transmission is in neutral and the park brake is off. So I've got my foot on the brake. Now I'm gonna select the nav zoom. So now we've got the navigation screen up right on our screen right in front of us. So this is really handy. Now I'm gonna select the pages button. And we have zoom one, or I can go to zoom two, or zoom three, even more even more blown up for me. All right, now we're gonna go to sound volume. This is a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> so I'm gonna select it. And now you're gonna have warning sounds. Uh, you heard it earlier with the shore cord when we were still plugged in. I'm gonna turn on my, sig my turn signal. It's very faint, so I wanna turn that up. So I can make that, let's put it all the way up to 100. Isn't that nice? So you can select the level of sound um, or volume of the sound for your warnings, for your turn signals. 
So that's gonna be the same for any kind of warning and uh, sound associated with that, you can select the level of volume. Okay, from sound volume, we're gonna go to units. So units is where you can change everything from American to metric. So let's go to speed and distance. When I select the button here, you can see how it goes from miles to kilometers. This is a big deal for anyone that's traveling into Canada so that all they're posting their, their uh, speed signs are gonna be in kilometers. This makes it super easy for you as you travel out of the United States. We can go to service reminders. Service reminder is not enabled. This is because you really need to kind of monitor that yourself. You need to change your oil uh, every 15,000 miles or once a year. Now we'll go to screen position. This is rotate knob to adjust screen position. So as I rotate my knob, I can move the screen up or down. So short or tall, just depending on where you like that to be, very easy to adjust. Diagnostics, this screen is really more for your service technicians, but let's go to J1939 info, click that. This is giving us all the information from our engine. Again, I think this will probably be more meaningful to your tech, uh, but you've got a lot of information here right at your fingertips. So should we go for a test drive in the Anthem? I think we ought to. I'm gonna go ahead and start it with my keyless ignition here. So just something to note while we're sitting here, just making sure everything's aired up. I've got the engine running, the generator's on, three air AC units, and listen to how quiet it is. One of the first things that you have to get used to when you're driving in a big class A diesel is your um, turning point. So we're all used to driving our cars where our tires are out in front of us, and so as we approach the turn, we start turning. When you're in a big class A diesel, you've got your tires, basically, they're at my bottom. So I don't wanna start my turn until I'm at the center of the front axles. So I'm gonna turn right, turn my blinker on here, pull up to your stop sign, and then you're gonna pull your nose way out, and then you start that turn. One of the things that I tell my, my beginner RV drivers is that you wanna hug the left lane. Now I'm not saying always stay in the left lane. I'll get in trouble if we do that, right? So I'm just saying if you, you always wanna hug the left lane, whatever you're next to here, all bad things happen on the right side of the road. So cars pulled over, road debris, street signs. Anyway, you're always safer hugging that left lane. All right, so this is great. We're driving the Anthem. Look at this beautiful digital dash. You can see that I'm going 60 miles per hour. Nice and bold. I don't have to look. I can see my gauges are all green. That's a happy color for us, so everything's all good. Another really cool feature that they've added with the digital dash is I can throw my navigation system right up here on the screen. So I just hit the Pages button, and right there. I don't have to take my eyes off the road, so it's very safe. And um, you know, I can I can see my map very clearly without having to look away from the road. The Anthem also comes standard with the blind spot monitoring, so I can see I get a little indicator in my right or left mirror, depending on which side I've got something coming into my blind spot. So this is another safety feature that they've added for us, which is great. All right, now so I've got the coach up to 70. I want to make this super easy for me to drive, so I'm going to go ahead and set my cruise control. So I'm just gonna hit the on button. When I do that, a little dial will come up on my screen so I know that it's on, and then get to the speed I wanna be at. I wanna be at 70. So there, I'm gonna hit set, and now take my foot off the gas pedal and really enjoy this ride. I mean, it's gorgeous. I have this huge windshield in front of me, and we're super blessed to live in this country where we get to enjoy all these wonderful things, and we have so much to see within the United States. So this is the way to do it, folks. We're traveling 70 miles down the road right now. You really don't wanna go over 70 miles per, per hour just for tire safety. And that's what we recommend at National Indoor RV Centers. 
So one of the things I want to show you is I've got my engine brake. Remember, I can just reach over here. Don't even have to look down. Got my engine brake, and it's on high. So as soon as I take my foot off the gas, you're going to feel us start to slow. You notice I don't have my foot on the gas pedal or the brake, and I'm slowing down. This, this is the engine doing all that work, the engine brake. I was up over 60, and now you can see really slowing me down. Before I get in trouble here, I'll keep going, but almost brings me to a stop. If I let it keep going, it really eventually would stop me. So I want to show off this great camera. We have the digital camera here and we've got several different views. So we've got the rear view. We can go to the right and then that intersection view and we can look at the all three cameras right here. All right, I mentioned before that I had the, gen the engine running, obviously, the generator's on, and I have all three ACs running. And so, like I've said a million times, Integra has the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. With all those things running, we are at a, sorry, decibel count of 79.0, that of a luxury car. So it really is the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. I hope you've enjoyed this walk around of the 2019 Integra Anthem. If you'd like to know um, more about this coach, you can go online or pick up the phone and give us a call. A lot of times I get asked how much this gorgeous co coach costs. The manufacturer Integra allows us to tell you the manufacturer suggested retail price, which is $544, $485 or the manufacturer minimum advertised price, which is 408364. If you want to know what we'll sell you this coach for, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit your like and subscribe. Feel free to comment if there's something that you'd like to see in our next video.